Yes, I must have all the whiskey. Well, coming off the heels of the last video I did featuring a man who shares bollocks memes, we shall continue the trend, why the left can't meme. Not gonna lie, I had a lot of fun making this video. I was writing the script in bed this morning in tears, laughing my ass off at some of this. It's outstanding. Now, the inspiration for this came from this Twitter account, Philosophy Memes, so feel free to go and look them up. His memes are just terrible, oh, so very terrible. However, the memes in response to him, oh, glorious mint. So we shared this one featuring Soy of Cope. Leftist memes are always so long and difficult. And Big Brain Giga Chat over here. While reactionary memes appeal to ingrained social biases and cultural beliefs, yeah, the task of leftist memes is to break your social conditioning to make the unthinkable thinkable and to allow for creative change. Okay, if people have to explain your meme, then it's already a pile of wank. Not to mention that meme is quite the mask off moment if you happen to have an IQ over 95. Well, we'll return to it in a few moments, but first, let's look at some of the memes in response, shall we? Pray for me as I take this long and arduous journey to read this left-wing meme. Hmm. Whatever could this one mean, I wonder. While memes appeal to people, the task of leftist memes is to cope and see. <laughs> Thing too long, me no read. What's up, Duke? I respect your opinion. Meanwhile, we're all thinking, wow, that was the stupidest shit I've ever read. The last one is like a throwback to polite society. Now the left have gone so insane, we just say that out loud and laugh. <laughs> Let's be real. But we're still no closer to understanding why the left can't meme. Well, luckily, we have a brilliant summation from the Chans of the Four variety that sums up this particular meme to a freaking T. I don't think it's specifically aimed at this meme, but my word, it is brilliantly applicable. It's not that the left can't meme per se. I kind of disagree with that. From what I've seen, they actually can't meme. The left trying to meme is a bit like presenting a piece of fabric and calling it a shirt. Yes, it has the main component of a shirt, the fabric, but it has no competent stitching and no coherent form either. AKA the words make no friggin sense. It's that their viewpoints rely on a carefully constructed denial of reality. Yeah, because if they make it any more obvious, it'll have all the subtleties of a frying pan to your testicles. To a far greater extent than any other cults or religions they seek to supplant. Okay, that part is 100% true. This doesn't lend itself to simple, easily conveyed messages, because if you rely on your viewers to see things as they are, without providing several layers of carefully selected context, they'll interpret it the wrong way. The left can't meme because memes are the antithesis of how they communicate. Now you see this right here. This is the epitome of barebone perfection. I do love explanations that don't give me anything in excess. Just give me what I need and that'll be all cheerio. So with that in mind, let's go back to the meme and look at the uh, layers they try to slather on. While reactionary memes appeal to ingrained social biases and cultural beliefs, the task of leftist memes is to break your social conditioning to make the unthinkable thinkable and to allow for creative change. Ingrained social biases and cultural beliefs, yeah, because the latter doesn't produce the former, or I don't know, might be a product of observable reality, maybe. You guys know observable reality, right, lefties? It's that thing that you can't even confront without needing therapy and an isolation booth as you cry yourself into an embarrassing state of hysteria. You see, this is why the left are so insane, because their entire ideology is built on avoiding the bloody obvious nature of reality, because it really upsets their hopelessly fictitious dreams of a utopian society. You know the Queen's song, One Vision? That is not actually achievable, yes? Go listen to that song and tell me that isn't exactly what they actually aspire to. The only true lyric of that song is a dream of sweet illusion. The world is not capable of uniting under one banner, and it never will be. It's no wonder the Lotus Eaters lads did a video called Do Leftists Have Brain Damage? In fact, let's watch the opening, shall we? Do leftists have brain damage? Are we yes. gonna scientifically prove this, or, or just... We'll, we'll get some scientific <laughs> studies, so that... But it we just can... seems obvious to me, that yes. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, it I'll seems like that's... <laughs> Uh, well, we can ask the question and we can cite some studies, so... Um, I'm just gonna read some community guidelines real quick, boys. <laughs> Alright, well, this second, if it doesn't go up on YouTube, you know the answer. Those of you watching live, and you'll have to watch on the website instead, any of you who might want to watch on YouTube or anything. Yeah, I happen to agree with Dan. The obvious answer is yes, no doubt. But we're a species built for conquest and conquer, not eternal peacetime. I'm sure somewhere Bronze Age pervert approves of that message. 
As for wisdom, there is wisdom in your words, man of the West. Know that I shall return east. I shall not remain there forever. On that day, the strength of the bear shall be tested. If the West is one day filled with ones such as you, perhaps it shall be a worthy fight indeed. My coming would have saved you, set your people free in ways they cannot see. War would have tested them, broken the weak with its violence, yet allowing the strong to arise. Violence gave you that strength, awakened you. I can see it upon your face, where two bullets left their mark. Yeah, we're built for that. You know, say what you want about Legolanius, but at least he respects wisdom and honor. He sees battle as more than merely crushing his enemies. He sees conquest as a form of legitimacy and will not needlessly waste the lives of his men for some project of vanity. He even laments Kaiser's campaign in the East as one that saw an excessive waste of flesh and blood. Anyway, break your social conditioning to make the unthinkable thinkable and to allow for creative change. AKA, stop thinking in ways we deem unacceptable to our vision of the world. Instead, we're going to propagandize you with dreams of a sweet illusion. Look at the mimetic structure not only in terms of belief, but also the familiarity with the opposition. If you're a man of the right, well done, you know reality, you know standards, and most importantly, you know the left extremely well. The same can't be said of them. That lame ass meme, you know what they mean by this, my explanation of the meme is not a revelation to you. So understanding the meme, seeing the snake oil, you know what the left is like. You know trying to explain reality to them is a futile effort. And as such, it is much funnier and far more effective to just meme them into oblivion. Meme warfare, I think you could argue, is like the inside joke phenomenon on a colossal amount of steroids. You know they're not going to ever understand it, ever. Why? Well, in my opinion, the best way to look at the left as a group, seeing as they suffer from a uh, complete disconnection to the world in any objective sense, is to view them as a cult that's constantly high. So for all intents and purposes, they're basically a clan of delusional junkies constantly being fed a steady supply of drugs. And you, your worldview, your words, you represent rehab. And if you know junkies, you can never get people to quit drugs through intervention alone. No, they must want to quit of their own volition. That's why when trying to explain anything to them, it doesn't sink in, because you're trying to sell them the world of sobriety. So your memes are essentially mocking them for being high. And their memes in response is trying to sell you the world of the addict. And when you're constantly surrounded by everything perverted by that worldview, it does become a lot easier to say, no, we're good now, kindly get the hell away from me and go back to California. Cheers for watching and once again, I apologize for nothing.